everybody, finally a nice day has arrived. So it's time to begin the installation of the mini whip. So I've got a table and all the bits and pieces that I hope I'll need. Soldering iron, two five iron plugs and the earth rod. And so now I'll crack on and begin installation. First a look at the finalised mini whip pole. So it's got its cap, the mini whip is tacked on inside there and it's got a little spot of glue inside. This is self amalgamating tape which will form a nice seal, keep the cap in place when it's up the tree. So my next project is to take down the ALA 1530 which is there and then put the mini whip up in the tree. Wish me luck. Okay, so the mini whip is in place. It's a slight flex on the plastic pipe, but that should be fine. Nice and firm. I've used bungee straps to hold it in place, so it's flexible for the tree. So the height to the top of the mini whip I just measured as 760 centimetres. So I'm now connecting the new and old coax and for this I'm using a BNC to PL259 adapter. And I shall use this area to connect to the ground rod and then insulate everything up once it's done. Get the ground rod in. Now here we have the earth clamp and it's just against the ferrule of one of the 259s which I've left open and I'm going to pump some silicon sealant in around there now but everything else has got amalgamating tape so it'll keep the damp out hopefully and that is the top of the mini whip so what I need to do now is do a bit of tidying up do that sealant that I spoke about and then we can start some tests and here we are up with the mini whip as you see there's a slight curve because the branch isn't quite straight but I don't think it will bother it, it's got a little bit higher The old uh, bungee straps holding it nice and secure, I can't even twist it. Here we are, and it's sort of lodged against that branch bit there. But the bungee straps will allow flexibility so that the tree can move about. And hopefully, yeah, the reason it's bulging is because of that knot there. But hopefully the pole will just flex, shouldn't get too brittle too quickly. It's plastic drain pipe. And at the bottom where the coax comes out, I've left a gap. Just so that it can be ventilated. And a strain relief via that little branch there. Before it goes down. Right, hello, we're doing some tests now. Testing the mini whip very quickly, it appears to work. What I'm very quickly doing is I'm taking the feed from the power feed unit and splitting it so that I can measure the current that's being drawn. Now, right off said it should be about 65 milliamps, so when I make the circuit there, have a look at that 66 milliamps going up to the, milli, uh, to the mini whip, and that's using the supplied. Um, unstabilized 9 volt supply. So that suggests that the mini whip is nicely connected and drawing the power that it should draw. Which is cool. Well, 
the mini whip is in place up the tree. Um, the earth appears to be working. And here's ONO in Belgium. And it's 1952 local time, where at UTC. And look at the noise floor. It's pretty remarkable really. Not tried it at HF yet. In part four, the final series on installing the new Mini Whip, we'll take a look at HF and see how it uh, behaves there. So stay tuned for part four coming soon.